Hello, welcome to my channel AJ Studio. Today we are going to run a program uh, on OpenGL that is a color cube program. We will see the program first and we will see also the output. This is a simple program. Rotate a color cube using a mouse and program. You can see a draw a color cube using OpenGL transformation matrix program. So let me debug the program and see uh, how this works. So you can see uh, in this program uh, the color cube will is rotating you feel like it is a 2d but still it is a 3d when i click on the mouse you will understand it you can see uh, it's rotating in x uh, y z different different axis it will rotate and you can see how it rotate exactly the thing is very uh, important thing in output is in this program the color cube uh, it has uh, four front faces four back faces okay and uh, the face uh, uh, sides the front uh, four uh, vertex uh, front and back four vertex are there and totally the faces are six faces for front three and back this is regarding a color cube rotation program now we will see a line by line execution okay so let's do the line by line execution always you know uh, it always starts from int main and always the program always starts with the int main entry and glut init init is initialization of graphics library next glut init display window here you are using double rgb and depth double because there are two buffers are used front and back and rgb red green blue depth because it's a 3d program that is why you are using depth buffer init window init window is uh, used for the window size where uh, width and height 500 500 next line is create window just uh, you're giving the name of the window that is rotating a color cube okay then reshape function will be there uh, just to call back it is a callback function display function and idle idle function anyhow i have already explained in the previous program that is uh, uh, this one serpency gasket program which you can see in the previous uh, program uh, you can see and uh, it is over the top uh, link is also available if you want at the end of the video that catch the video of that this one idle function spin cube is that this is uh, idle function means it means that uh, very simple uh, it's uh, works like a screen saver saver means if the mouse is idle or uh, here the computer is idle automatically screen saver comes the same way idle function automatically spin the cube uh, let me continue with this uh, uh, mouse function because you are using mouse function in this program because you are using mouse here and enable enable depth test why because you need uh, 3d that is why depth test so main loop finally spin cube spin cube uh, you can see uh, spin cube uh, theta axis uh, uh, theta axis you can see a uh, two uh, by default it will uh, rotate in z and uh, axis okay axis every time you are incrementing it by 0.1 very simple thing here if you increment this 0.2 or 0.3 value the rotation speed will be faster because uh, the cube is rotating with 0 0.1 0 0.1 degree or radians normally you will uh, tell it uh, tell it in radians 0 0.1 0 0.1 you are incrementing if i do 0 0.2 every time when i rotate it will uh, uh, increment by 0 0.2 faster you will feel like uh, the cube is rotating faster so next uh, line you can see if theta axis is greater than 360 you know angle maximum angle is 360 that is a circle that is a rotation of a cube maximum angle it will it will make is 360 if it is greater than 360 meters you should make it as zero how can i make it as zero subtract it by 360 so any angle okay uh, make it minus 360 because i want to make it zero again that is why i am uh, subtracting minus equal to 360 and uh, glut the post redisplay because after some changes you have to display again post redisplay post is after changes re means you are displaying again that's why redisplay okay and this is a uh, spin cube and here uh, there are mouse uh, function is there you can see over here mouse function let me explain this and we will go afterwards mouse we have button state x y x y because mouse will uh, move in x and y uh, direction state uh, and button and mouse has three buttons uh, left mouse button middle mouse button and right mouse button and states there are two states 
one is down and up now what is this down and up we'll see if button is glut left button if i click left mouse button and state is glut down glut down means if my mouse is pressed okay if it is pressed then is it is glut down then x is zero x is zero means x direction that is in x axis it should, should rotate and if it is middle button and state is uh, uh, down okay there are two states i told up means released down means pressed mouse pressed axis one axis one means y direction the same the last one button right uh, button state glut down means axis two that is the direction so these are the three things so i'm not going to tell much reshape uh, reshape you have w and h w and h is uh, you know 500 and 500 viewport it takes four parameters x y w h x is zero y is zero and w and h is 500 500 Okay. and um, if you want to draw anything you need projections that is why you are using gl underscore projection and in opengl everything is represented in terms of matrix that is why you are using matrix mode afterwards the load identity load identity is used to preserve the identity of the object and normally it will be identity matrix identity matrix means diagonal uh, matrix is diagonal matrix uh, uh, will be one and if you multiply anything with the Id uh, identity matrix is same so that is why load identity so w and h and w and h just make sure that if width is greater and height is greater if you want to know much about this uh, reshape function you can watch my previous video where i have explained very nicely so i will not tell once again and matrix mode model view after uh, you got the projection you should draw the diagram that is model view so display uh, uh in display you have to clear everything so you are clearing the buffer a uh, bit by bit and even the depth buffer that is a back buffer also load identity because load identity is very important you have to uh, make it uh, uh, object should be fixed and uh, it should have a identity of the matrix should be maintained but load identity so you can watch the previous video for more details and uh, gl rotative what is this gl rotative because uh, in this you are rotating the cube in x y and z that is why you are using gl rotative you know uh, it is rotating in theta 0 theta 1 theta 2 so this this 0 1 2 0 means you are rotating in x so there are four parameters are over here first one is theta that is the speed of the rotation what you want to give so normally theta 0 uh, that is already i have explained theta 0 theta 1 theta 2 uh, where that function 0 0.1 0 0.1 increment uh, uh, this one is x you can see x this is y this is that here i am making x as one here i am making y as one here i am making z as one that means first one if i do that it will rotate in x axis second one rotate in y di direction finally z uh, x y z after that color cube color cube is a function so we'll see color cube and in color cube you know color cube has the six faces so front three and back three and Front three is always uh, anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. That's the numbering given for the cube. Numbering given by the cube. See what are these cube numbering? First one, zero, three, two, one. So give a numbering. Okay, uh, for a cube. So normally, uh, if it is uh, normally if it is a uh, outer facing means uh, outer facing means which is uh, visible for us, it is anti-clockwise. Or uh, more details, if you want to know, means uh, we will do a modification program. You watch that color cube modification. That I will explain that there are six faces will be there so first will be anti clockwise that is outside well it will go for polygon you know that a is 0 3 b 3 c is 2 d is 1 so you are going to start the program begin polygon you are going to draw that and you are assigning the color and vertices a b c d a b c d four colors and four vertices so it is a uh, cube so after one side is finished one side so we'll go for second second one two three seven six now you are going for two three seven six you can see over here two three seven six now again same thing it will call and it will assign and again uh, you are going for a third one zero four seven three so you can see uh, zero four seven three so the same thing gl begin polygon and end after that and now fourth side after fourth side is finished uh, you are going for what of course it's fifth fifth side four five six seven now so fifth side uh, is finished finally you are going for the sixth one zero one five four so 
so you can see down values over here 0 1 5 4 so that is finished begin and end it and we finish the this one finally we'll go for color cube is finished now finally it will go for flush flush is used for whatever in the what that is a frame buffer flush it to the display gl flush finally swap buffer this is the most important thing which uh, which i would like to tell in this open gl program swap buffers what is this swap buffers so yeah, anyhow you know that when i saw uh, when you sh showed the output you have um, a cube cube will have front side as well as back side so every time uh, front side will be visible and back side will be not visible of course that makes sense because it is uh, not transparent it is opaque so front will be visible that is what you want to see and back side calculation will happen so why i'm swapping it because when i click it back will come front and front will go back you have seen the output you have seen the output when i click it what will happen when it rotates when it rotates normally front will go back back will go front so that's the cycle it will happen because it is spinning cube this is why you are using swap buffer there are two buffers are there front and back and it is swapping front and back front will come back back will come front so swapping you are using swap buffers and finally you are hash, you got the output you can see it you can see it here you got the output this is the rotating of a color cube finally you got the output. this is a program where you will rotate the color cube and uh, you will see uh, it will rotate in x y and uh, z direction this is a simple color cube program i hope uh, you understood this video and uh, please uh, don't forget to share subscribe and like thank you so much